Welcome to Street Talk. I'm your host, Loretta Rose. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am so happy you've joined us. We have a great community organization that is on today, and we have a spokesperson that is going to share with you a campaign kickoff that has taken place. You don't want to miss it. It is United Way of the Chattahoochee Valley with us today. Let everyone know to tune in because this is going to be good. You want to support this. This is Street Talk here on cable TV. Thank you again. We're talking about leading and uniting our community. And that's what United Way do in our community. Our special guest is a lovely lady and she's so involved in the community. And the United Way is so dear to her heart. We have Susan Wiggins on and she's gonna share with us more about United Way and why it's so important to her. Welcome to today's show. Thank you, Loretta. We so appreciate the opportunity to be here. I want to commend you and um, CTV Beam for allowing us to talk about United Way. I really think the community, community-wide, uh, there's lots of things that United Way does. You hear the name all the time, but you don't really know yes. what all they support. And I personally am very passionate about it. I just want to give you a little background. When I graduated from the University of Alabama, <clears throat> and uh, I went to work <laughs> at a bank, and my first paycheck had just a little bit of money because mm. uh, bankers and women bankers at that time really didn't make a lot of money, and it was a deduction for UG. And I thought, what is that? So I went to the payroll office and I said, excuse me, but what is this deduction? And she said, oh, that's United Givers. And I said, oh, well, how generous of me. Did I say that I wanted to do that? And she said, yes, when you signed your employment contract. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> so I began giving to United Givers, which was the forerunner of United Way in 1975. Wow. When I knew nothing about it. And so that was an unauspicious start, but I have given faithfully every year since wow. and have learned all about it, grown to love this organization. And I spent 40 years in my career working at the Bradley Company. And we always had our United Way campaigns and we were very careful about never putting pressure on anybody to give. Mm -hmm. That wasn't an automatically assumed. Mm -hmm. Instead, we would present the story of the United Way and what it does and let our team members give freely from their own hearts. Right. And every year we had a successful career and we're one of the major players in the United Way campaign, the Bradley Company. I say we, I retired last <laughs> November and am enjoying- You retired. I did, <laughs> and am, 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 am enjoying retirement. But I have seen firsthand lives that have been changed, individuals have been changed mm -hmm. through the agencies of the United Way. Absolutely. And they support with their funding, this year we're trying to raise seven million dollars, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money, but they fund 27 agencies that just do wonderful work in the community and more than 47 programs. And some of those agencies, again, people at the Railroad Company, we'd have these meetings and they would go, well, I didn't know Girls Inc was a United Way agency. My child goes there uh, after school. And hospice, which so many families wow. in our community are touched by hospice. Mm -hmm. And Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and Girls uh, Boys Club um, and Battered Women's Shelter wow. and House of Time, Tears, uh, in Phoenix City wow. programs that are, oh, well, it supports both communities, but specific programs that are benefited over here are the Red Cross um, of uh, East Alabama, uh, Russell County um, Child Advocacy Center, wow. Tears, and also Girls Inc. Yeah. So I can't individually give to 27 That's organizations, right. but I know that it is so uh, carefully administered and use, those funds are used through the United Way. They actually get community volunteers who give this money to serve on a committee to decide 
how much money does each agency get? The oversight is tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I feel very secure in that gift and know that it benefits the greatest good. So that's really the thing I want to reassure the community about is you cannot, and I don't even consider it a donation, I consider it an investment mm, in our community. That's true. And that's true. Uh, also, basically, their work deals with basic needs, mm. roof over your head, health, wow. income, you know, job insecurity is an all time high right now because of yes. COVID, and uh, education. So that's the focus for basic areas that your United Way dollars go to to benefit. Wow. So it, it is, you just can't give to it's a better thing. Exactly, and you're helping to bring a connection with a lot of things that we see in, in the community, but a lot of people probably didn't even know that United Way was associated in some type of way, right? which is amazing. Also, there's various initiatives with the United Way, and just like you were saying, that helps with just enhancing lives, you know, with right. a better quality of life. You want to talk about some of those initiatives? I will. I'll mention a few. There's too many to talk about them in this program. Uh, but again, and I encourage you, and you certainly will receive information from the United Way if you make a gift back about, they've got a great brochure about all the agencies that benefit from, the, from your money. One program they've got is called 211, and that's a very important thing to know about. Uh, we would often use this service at the Bradley Company with team members who had some um, challenge, it's everyday challenges that people face. And you know, it doesn't take a lot to bring some upheaval to a family, a broken down car, That's true. a sick child, um, the loss, unexpected loss of a job, or even during COVID, there was a lot of, in a lot of companies, uh, not only closure, but just cut back of hours or decrease in salary. A lot of companies gave in across the board. It doesn't take a lot to throw somebody into to a crisis. So if you call 211 and it's confidential, you should make the call yourself. If it's a, your issue, you should, don't call for a friend, mm -hmm. let call directly. And they direct you to resources that hopefully can help you with that particular problem. You know, if it's helping pay a power bill or whatever the issue is, wow. if it's some kind of personal or domestic issue, mm -hmm. they've got a resource they can direct you to where caring professionals will help you. And that's something else, I have to do a shout out. The people that work in these agencies, they do not do that for money. Wow. They are inspired to give back, wow. to create a better world, to make this a better place to live. And I just think, you know, they're angels. My yeah. family had to use hospice when we lost my mother, and I'm convinced everybody that works in that place is a slap out angel. Yes. Um, and, uh, and one other thing, get back to the initiatives, but if you look, look at these different programs they benefit, if you would rather your money go directly to one of those, you can designate that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go to right. just to the general United Way fund. You can actually designate who it goes to. Um, <clears throat> they've got several uh, programs that help people um, get their feet back under them uh, that have had temporary instability yeah. uh, and then hopefully lead to help them get to employment and housing. Home for Good is one of the things that really touches my heart. And their goal at Home for Good is moving individuals or families from homelessness wow. to permanent stable housing. Now, what a blessing. Think about it. And just think if you were in that position, yes. uh, wouldn't it be great? And another thing, this is not a handout at United Way. It's a hand up mm, for people. I love it. Um, they get involved over here at Mount Olive Primary School in Russell County. They have a program called Read United. And <clears throat> people that started in 2017, they determined one of the greatest needs in the schools is reading level and mm. uh, literacy. And so and volunteers from United Way, who are just people like me and you that wow. give to United Way, go to the school and participate with the third grade uh, in reading to them. And they've done testing and every single student has increased their uh, reading level since this program started. Wow. So again, they find a sp 
specific mm -hmm. issue that needs mm -hmm. to be dealt with, and then they come up with a solution for it. And that solution needs two things. It needs mm -hmm. money, yeah. <laughs> okay, to fund whatever the need is, mm -hmm. but it also needs people. It needs volunteers. Sure. And so and that's they, us. And, and yes, and say you don't have any money to give right now. Mm -hmm. Call them up and say you'll go out to Mount Olive and read a book. Wow. They would love, love to hear you do that. Another great one that's just happening had just happened was uh, at the start of school was stuff the bus. Yes. Now you see, I've you, seen that, okay. and that is an annual. Yes, event. that's every year, and it's amazing how much they've grown it just since they started it. And you go to Walmart and see a mama with one or two or three children trying to fill their cart up and buy school supplies. Wow. And it adds up, it costs quite a bit of money to do that. Wow. So this Stuff the Bus is a backpack that is stuffed with all the supplies that are on the list the school sends mm -hmm. out that your child needs. It's completely free. Wow. And this year, even COVID, even though we've got COVID going on, they've still put out um, you know, a call for volunteers mm -hmm. and people came down and helped. They Wonderful. stuffed 5,000 backpacks and I've wow. done it it is. It sounds like it would be easy, but it like broke my yeah. back. So they stuffed 5,000 backpacks, wow. and of those 5,000, 1,000 were distributed in Phoenix mm. City in Russell County. Wonderful. Um, so they just, uh, and they, they have lots of groups that develop people, young emerging leaders, because yes. they're trying Ooh, to grow yes. uh, people Beautiful. like yourself, you're yes. young, yes. Uh, and for to uh, be community conscious and be Absolutely. philanthropist. Absolutely. And, the uh, Women United that we're going to talk a little bit more about that I'm a part of is our goal is women helping women. I love it. And uh, yeah, because sisterhood is strong and yes. powerful. Yes, yes, ma'am. I so love that's, it. So that's that's just some of them. Wow. But again, and you're so you, passionate. You can. Uh, you're well, so they're, passionate about they're just it. all great. They're all. Wow. They really are great. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is beautiful. So tell us about some of your special events. Well, we have one that in particular that is super close to my heart that I've been involved in since the very beginning, which was nine years ago. So we're going to have the ninth annual Power of the Purse event virtually this okay. year. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that, but I think you would enjoy knowing uh, how that organization got started and how that event got cool. started, because it was kind of a special way. There were a couple of wonderful women that are in our group that were going somewhere in Columbus and they passed a lady that was sitting beside the road or sitting on a bench and they went and did what they had to do and when they came back they happened to notice that she was still there and it just struck them that day mm -hmm. and instead of driving by they stopped and said can we help you you know do wow. you need to get somewhere or what, or what can we do for you and in a few minutes of talking to her she was trying to go for a job interview, but she said, I really need some underwear. Wow. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. Just put your, try to even imagine yourself in that mm -hmm. situation. So they took her to a store and mm -hmm. took care of that need. Mm -hmm. But then they started talking to these United Way agencies that benefit in particular women at Open Door Community House and House of Time and folks that again, need help getting back on their feet. Right. And they, we asked that question. They said, is that a need that you have there that, that your clients have? And they said, oh yes, because people can give used clothing to Goodwill That's right. and House of Mercy and Valley Rescue Mission, but you can't give used underwear. Mm -hmm. And so, and you don't typically think to go buy it mm -hmm. and true. give it to them. And so, yes, it was a huge need. And we said, you know what? We can meet that need, by golly. And so our first Power of the Purse event, we came up with a slogan that said, each one, wear one, bring one. And what that means, and it still means this year, ladies out there and gentlemen, because we have some men that come to this event, we expect you to wear one, wear underwear, and then bring some new ones for us to give away. And we have done, in the last nine years, thousands wow. of ladies undergarments and they are always given away and they're not only used at these agencies we use them out at girls inc when it's back to school time yes. we uh, everything give is it a to blessing. the yes give it to the girls 
and the stories that we've heard since mm -hmm. we've started this. We interview some of the people that have been helped by these United Way agencies and said, you know, what, what did that mean to you to get that new bra and those new panties? Uh, and just a couple of examples. One lady said, she's, and she had been helped by the House of Time, so she had overcome and was overcoming an addiction issue. And she said, when I got that new bra, she said, I immediately went to the trash can and threw my, the one I had on away. Mm -hmm. She said, because not only was it worn out, but I shoplifted it. Wow. And she said, it was a symbol of my old life. Mm -hmm. And she said, this new, brand mm -hmm. new bra mm -hmm. was a symbol of my new a beginning. New beginning, mm -hmm. beautiful. beautiful. One, one lady said she didn't have a bra, that she was mm -hmm. wearing a bathing suit top. One woman told us, she said, it made me feel like a woman again. Mm -hmm. And I think about all of us that are so blessed that when we get dressed in the morning, that's not even something that crosses our mind. We open uh, our drawer and select from all the undergarments mm -hmm. that we have. Wow. That's and amazing. that little small thing, mm -hmm. the human dignity that it restores to people, mm -hmm. how can you not love this event exactly. and this project. And so that was that was our focus and how we began. But we have, I said, it was women's an organization about women helping women. Mm -hmm. And so we have expanded beyond that. Wow. And now we additionally use the funding. We still get the undergarments and we'll talk in a second about how we're gonna do that this year virtually. But we also have scholarships. We give college scholarships mm -hmm. and I cannot tell you, uh, a few months back, I think it was December, uh, I could not have been prouder than the, if this were my own child. But our very first, and now we've had several, and we will have more new ones at this mm -hmm. event, our first scholarship recipient was a woman named Margul Margulina Remington. And she very uh, is very open about sharing her story. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she came to town, she was addicted to drugs and homeless and the House of Time helped Margalena get back on her feet. And by the, she stabilized by the time she got to our organization in United Way, she wanted to further her education and we funded her scholarship. And last mm -hmm. December, I attended her graduation from mm -hmm. Troy State University. And she works at uh, the Valley Food Bank. She has gotten several promotions and her goal is to be CEO. Oh, and wonderful. I don't have any I don't have any doubt that yes. she's gonna get it. Awesome. So just think the so, success stories. Yes. It's a blessing in itself. And so when you come to this event, wow. you are so lifted up mm. by the time you leave, especially with all the negative stuff yes. we got around us now. You are just encouraged mm -hmm. and motivated yes. to, like I say, reach out a hand, mm -hmm. help a sister. You, and you know, you are really speaking so much truth because we take so much for granted. So many of us, we take yep. so many things for granted, and just the the simple thing means everything to some people. Yes, and it's a blessing to be able to have something like the United Way and its partners. Right. Because I understand you have partners mm. also that which help you to further serve others in the community. Would you like to talk about some of your partnership? Because they're open for more partners as well and more contributions. So we want to let other organizations and um, companies know that they too can be a part of this in blessing others. Mm. Well, the business community in Columbus and Phoenix City is wonderfully supportive of United Way, and they all conduct great internal United Way campaigns, and they allow people to give donations via payroll deduction. So that makes it simple. You don't mm -hmm. even see it, and it's done, and it's over. Mm -hmm. What we really are concerned about and need to be concerned about are engaging individual partners that aren't reached through those traditional uh, channels mm -hmm. of United Way. So you individuals that are out there, I really would like you to think about what you've heard today about the agencies that have that it does benefit and how those have benefited your family perhaps or Easter Seal Center is one. I always when I think about that wonderful place that helps uh, 
you know, um, challenged children mm -hmm. and adults, mm -hmm. I think there but by the grace of God go I. Wow. One of my best friend's child had to go there. I thank God that that organization existed mm -hmm. when they needed it. Right. And you never know which of these agencies you're going to need. So if you would consider, if you haven't given, making an individual donation, mm -hmm. uh, you can contact the United Way office to find out how to do that. But I would kind of like you to think about it a little bit. What might you do to make a difference? And if you're in a ladies group, mm -hmm. Sign up for Power of the Purse for our virtual event this mm -hmm. year. We'll sign up online. The, the tickets are twenty dollars to $20. come, mm -hmm. and you can do that. I would also like for churches to give this some serious thought. I know our church is wonderfully supportive of the community, and we do lots of uh, offerings for special things, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly like disaster relief is one for the children's home, mm -hmm. for different things. So if all the churches in our community just had one special offering a year for United Way, that could make a really huge difference. Really? And this year, we understand how great the challenge is for people to give. We're not, we understand that because mm -hmm. the need and the request have been greater. So you can only look inside your own heart That's right. and see, and I have nothing against McDonald's or Burger King, but you might could skip one or two drive throughs a month <laughs> mm -hmm. and give, give that money to the United Way. Mm -hmm. Every little bit helps, yes. it all adds up. Absolutely, so she said it well, we as individuals can donate and contribute as well. And this is so priceless because I've heard of testimonies, and you've shared a lot today, but this is shaping our future. And just like Ms. Wiggins said, you never know when the need is really needed. So I love, love, love this, and it's a blessing to know that we have this here in our community. Now, a lot of people, like I said, you've educated the community with more about United Way, because I've seen it, I've worked at companies before, donated to United Way, but I really didn't know where all the funds were going. So you've just shared a lot of information to help the community to know how their donations benefit others' lives. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it is benefiting others' lives. And sometimes it may be your very own. So I love it, I love it. Um, Can I add one more thing sure, about Power yes, of the Purse? I forgot, got so excited talking about United <laughs> Way. So I said we were gonna have a challenge this year. In the Ooh. past, we've held the event, and of course in person at the St. Luke Ministry Center. We sell it out, the last several years, we've sold it out at 700 and plus people, and they bring gift bags with new undergarments in it. So what we're gonna do this year is the day after the virtual event, okay. which is October 29th, mm -hmm. from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. The next day, in the morning, and then again in the evening, and we'll be publicizing the, the times, we're gonna have a drive-by underwear fair, or parade, a mm -hmm. drive-by underwear parade, at the United Way office on 3rd Avenue. Okay. Second, fourth, Fifth Avenue, excuse okay. me, Fifth okay. Avenue. And there will be people out there collecting them. So all you got to do is drive by and drop your gift bag. Okay. And so one, one funny story about that, one of my good friends that's uh, actually assistant to the general at Fort Benning, mm -hmm. and a wonderful guy, he heard about our event and wanted to support it. So he went out to Macy's to buy some underwear to bring to the Power of the Purse event and leave the underwear. And he bought, he gathered up a hundred pairs of panties. Wow. And he went up and he's just a great big guy and he put them on the counter and the little young clerk looked at all that and went, mm, okay. <laughs> and so when she, wow. he saw her look, wow. he started trying to explain. Mm. She was reaching for the phone to call security, you know, but he was, <laughs> he was trying to explain what he was doing with the underwear. Yeah. And, uh, but so I have kidded him about Bless that. Bless him. I've kidded him about that ever since. But isn't that something? That is. Isn't that, that something? Is. And because he's, 
got a lovely wife and daughters, wow, and it just touched his heart to think mm, that yes, there yeah. was such a need out there. Yeah. Never crossed his radar, never mm. crossed his mind. So th we always have fun at this event. We're going to have fun this year, yes. yeah, I promise, even though it's virtual. Yes. The United Way called me and they said the board was worried about being a virtual event, that they said you've really got to find the most you know, dynamic, articulate, entertaining mm -hmm. MC you can find. And they said, told me, and I, I'm going, oh, okay, well, that's, yes. And then she said, well, she couldn't come. So we wondered if you would come back again and MC, because I MC every oh, year. Oh, yeah, and I so, heard you are pretty so, hilarious. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, I would never, you'd, it'd take wild horses to keep me away from this event. Wow. And then we have a great speaker. Your and speaker? Vera Jones, she, I'm telling you, you will be so happy that you took an hour out of your day mm. to attend this event. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to hear her. Uh, wow. And uh, she is she's going to be very inspiring. Uh, she is a, a, a female sports broadcaster okay. of uh, basketball wow. and uh, primarily cool. in, in the Big Ten. Yes. 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 She's very successful, very personable, but she's had some challenges mm -hmm. in her personal life. Yeah. And uh, she has worked through that yes. and won you know, mm -hmm. come out a winner on the yeah, other side. Exactly. And that's the message she has for us. And I can tell it's going to be empowering. Yes, that it's all of us empowering. have stuff, but you can get through it and wow. you can get to the side. So I always, I just come out of there and I'm charged up for it. And oh. typically every year everybody says, we wish we could do this more than once. Yeah. So if you haven't done it, this is the year to, to come. This, this is, is the year. year to do it. Yes. And I certainly hope- and $20 I certainly is not hope bad. you're gonna be there. We'll be reaching out to you, so. October 29th, I'm gonna make sure if I can't be there, I'm gonna donate okay. and bless someone because just like your slogan said, united in this together. Yes. We are in this together. I love that. So I encourage you to find it in your heart to, to support this because this is, you, you know, the change that we always say we want to see, but it starts with us. Mm -hmm. um, for those that want to donate, they can donate here locally as well because we have some viewers that are probably not on social media where they can go and donate that way electronically. So can donations be made locally as well? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay, And good. just call the United Way office and okay. find out how to do that. And okay. if they want to actually mail them a check or drop off, that's good. Have lots of people do that. Absolutely, and also for those of you that want the website, it is unitedwayofcv.org. And CV is for Chattahoochee Valley. So that's mm -hmm. United Way of CV.org. All right, we're bringing the show to a close with our special guest, Susan Wiggins with United Way. She passionately serves through this wonderful community organization. Thank you so much for being on today's show, helping the community to know what's happening, what's coming up, how they can be involved and get on board with United Way. Thank you. Well, thank you, Loretta, again. I uh, began thanking you for allowing us this opportunity. It is so important, yes. and I, I, we really sincerely appreciate it. I just can't say enough about what a fine organization this is, mm -hmm. how well run it is, how vigilant they are about the dollars that they use, and how many lives are positively impacted mm -hmm. with those gifts. And so, Again, if you've not been a United Way giver in the past, this year, above all years, I would really love you to consider making a gift and we'll make it as easy for you as we can. You just call the office and find out how uh, is the best way for you to do that. But it's, uh, you know, I absolutely, as I think you were too, based on watching you and what I've heard you, things you've talked about on air, we were blessed mm -hmm. to be a blessing to others. Amen. Yes, ma'am. And this is a caring community yes. here, a very caring community, and they are all about reaching out and giving a hand up. Amen. So please consider doing that. Beautiful, well said. You are such an amazing servant 
yourself. And I must say, this is leading by example. A lot of time people talk about it, but I love it when we can see it in action. It's just not talk, you all are doing exactly what the mission statement right. is in place for. Thank right. you. Thank you. Wow, so make sure you support them. Also, I'm gonna give you that website again, and we'll also have it on the screen as well, unitedwayofthecv.org. So again, you can make donations locally, churches, organizations, companies, you can make donations as well. Again, this is the change that we're making in the lives of others, in the lives of young people, not only young people, but families, our community. And it all starts right where we are. So I was honored to be able to be on today to hear more about the United Way. And I have been educated Good. more. And I think the community has as well. So thank you, make sure you support them, get out there and be a blessing. Let's be that change that we all wanna see. You've been watching Street Talk with our special guest, Ms. Wiggins with the United Way. You've been watching it here on cable TV.